Well, I don't know about you, but a brand new year turns my mind to thoughts of decluttering and organising things. Hang on a minute. Haven't I said that before? Well, the last time I said it, I was on the boat, not here. Today, my thoughts are turning to reorganising. With new year comes new thoughts about organising spaces, decluttering, and all of that sort of stuff. And this time I'm saying it because I'm going to be organising my airing cupboard inside my house. I hope you'll find it interesting and useful to you. Um, so let's see how we go. My name's Marianne and I am part-time boater on the land this week. I am at home at the moment and not on the boat, so I am tackling my airing cupboard. For those of you abroad, it's just a cupboard where we put our linens, in my clay case, vacuum cleaner accessories. So I have done this already this week, but I wasn't happy with it. And I haven't finished doing up there yet. So let's see how I get on with this today. So I spend part of my time on the land and part of my time on the water. And this is my task for today on the land. So here I am with screwdriver in hand, building, assembling units that were once in my son's bedroom and dismantled and I'm reassembling them again to put into the airing cupboard and as you can see there is an awful lot of stuff around me, linens, amplifiers, all of these were in the airing cupboard, I've now taken them out, more linens in tubs over there. So I have my work cut out for me. Here is the bottom part done. I've built the wooden and metal units and I have put them in situ. The ironing board is in the middle. And now all I have to do is fill them up. I'm really pleased with that. Coincidentally, I had 
uh, six crates. They're folding crates. They match the ones that I have already put up there, which I did a few years ago. But they all fit perfectly. I think actually what I might do is to put the ironing board, instead of it having in the middle of the two units, I might move it over to the end where it was previously. I think that would look better. I'm not sure how easy it would be to get in and out, but I'll give it a try and I'll let you know. Well, I've had a little play around of the units and the ironing board, and I'm surprised to see that they actually fit side by side in the same orientation, which gives me more space to move the ironing board to one side. And I'll just show you what it's like. So as you can see, the ironing board is now to one side. The crates are filled and they are both next to each other. And what's more, I've got space underneath for my irons and my vacuum cleaner attachments are just on the floor. They might end up on the wall, but at this point, that's where they're living. So the only other space that I need to do is up here. So I'm going to empty out all of that and I'll show you the what I've bought to store the quilts. So this morning I went into home base just to have a little look around and see what they had in the way of linen storage. I was actually looking for some sort of collapsible tubs but what I found was a bit surprising. It's this, oops, let's get this out. It's this laundry bag. It's got a drawstring top and a metal ring that just goes around the rim of it to keep it firm. And if I show you down below, this is what it looks like when it's up. The other side of it is just gray. But it is quite a substantial bag. And I think it will be ideal for filling with um, quilts and pillows that I'm storing. I bought three of them. I'm hoping that will be enough. And I just need to open them up and fill them and uh, put them into place. But first I need to empty out the top. I think I said that before. I need to empty the top shelf, find out what I've got stored up there and then fill up these bags and put everything back. So let's get on with it. This time I am going to empty the top shelf. I hope I'm going to be able to fix, fit these things in. the 
shopping. I have to find a use for those. I know this is already in a container. unravel this sleeping bag. <laughs> fits really well up there. So I've got a quilt in that one, brand new double quilt, sleeping bags and a summer quilt in there and then I can't remember what was in that one I've just put it in. Oh well I'll have to check back on the video and find out because I can't remember. Oh I think it's pillows that's it. Pillows, sleeping bags and new quilt in that one. So there we have it. My airing cupboard totally done. I am very pleased with that. It's been a long time coming. I sort of got halfway there with plastic tubs and things and now it is complete. you've enjoyed this week's video of me organizing a space not on the boat but at my home 
And I think it doesn't matter where you're living, organising small spaces is just what you have to do. And I know from what I've just done here that I actually have quite a bit of sorting out to do and things to get rid of. So my decluttering will continue, but at least I now have the tools to be able to store things efficiently and effectively behind me. So I wish you luck in your decluttering, in your organising, and um, until next week and next week's video, 